Hello everyone, hope you're fit and well. Stephen Clark and guests back again with a light-hearted look at the latest from Thailand. Curbing the Thai Bart, Minister begs Central Bank. Philippines ferry disaster raises to 31. Not nice. Hoi Hin Hospital sued for overcharging foreigners and goat herders. And more success of the biometric systems at immigration. But first up, a Thai man sets fire to his Mercedes Benz because daddy won't pay his bar bill. Yeah, this is a really interesting story, this one. Um, a Thai man sets fire to his Mercedes Benz because daddy won't pay his bar fee. 5,000 baht, so he burns his Mercedes Benz. I mean, can you blame him? Wow, it's valued at around two and a half million baht. And how much does that uh, convert to? A lot of money. Well, that'll teach daddy, won't it? <laughs> I don't blame the kid for doing that, you know? Uh, you know, I, I really don't blame him. The property seller's son went to the, the Tuan Dang pub. He told staff he didn't have the money with him and he would go and see his father and get the money. But his father refused to give him the cash. So he drove off in a huff, very upset as you would be, and hit a bridge on his way out. He ended up in a paddock, with the car I guess, so he decided to douse it in petrol and set it on fire. The car was a black Mercedes Benz. Well, it was really black after he got through with it. <laughs> Yes, a um, CLS 250 CDI Mercedes-Benz. The front of the car was completely destroyed and the uh, back of the car didn't fare too much better, but it's probably a little bit salvageable. I don't know, maybe the ashtrays are still intact. <laughs> the car, unfortunately, was on hire purchased and owned by a bank. Ooh. The police and fire authorities put out the fire and the property developer, the father, was there but refused to make any statement. I mean, what do you say? Nice job, son. You really cooked it. The property developer told Udon Tani police that his son had mental issues and liked to uh, cause trouble. The police will interview him when he gets over his uh, hangover, apparently. So that means he was driving the car drunk, does it? Oh, dear. You know, he burns a two and a half million baht Mercedes Benz. What does he do when he's upset? <laughs> Immigration police have more success with their biometric system. Immigration police have arrested three more unwanted foreigners for crimes committed in Thailand. The arrests follow people being stopped at immigration queues trying to enter into Thailand last week. In a report from Thai authorities, success of the biometric system, police say the new system helped identify the people and crimes they had allegedly committed or were uh, involved in. Even though the process of taking all the fingerprints adds to the process time of each passenger at the airport, police identified the men only as A, B and C. One of the suspects, a 32-year-old Indian, had a fake stamp on his passport. Another man from the Czech Republic, also 32 and travelling to Italy, was found to be wanted on a warrant issued by the Chana Sankram Police in Kalsan Road for a nighttime theft. He was handed over to the police for prosecution. Also, a 34-year-old Nigerian man, arriving freshly in from Doha Airport, was found to be wanted in Pattaya for possession of methamphetamine and for overstaying his visa. Naughty boy. And now from Johnny Siam, the tragedy that unfolded in the Philippines. Wooden hull motorised boats ferrying people. The first was off the central island of Graminos and the second off the Elo provinces. Overturned. The two that overturned on Saturday were carrying 96 passengers. Unfortunately, 31 died and three are still missing. On Sunday, the third boat overturned. Luckily, there was only five crew with no loss of life. The rescue passengers said that the weather was fine and sunny, but halfway across, the weather changed. The sky darkened and they were hit with very strong winds and rain. The heavy monsoonal rains and thunder also caused havoc in the main island and capital of Manila, bringing traffic to a halt and flooding lower levels. There was also reports with the deluge of rain of landslides in other areas. These monsoonal rains and thunderstorms were caused by a tropical depression that was more than a thousand kilometres off the east coast of the Philippines. A Dutch man is suing the Hoi Hin Hospital for overcharging tourists and foreigners. In a novel suit, 
The litigation claims now Thai citizens are charged 50 baht for an appointment with the doctor at the hospital. But foreigners, surprise, surprise, are charged 300 baht. The 50-year-old Dutch complainant claims that this is a form of corruption. So the Dutch man decided to take his complaint to the Hoi Hin police station, informing those at the police station he wanted to sue the Hoi Hin hospital for overcharging foreigners. He claims there is no regulations established by the Thai Ministry of Health which allows for a difference in hospital fees for foreigners. The complainant claims he has bladder cancer that he's had since 2016 and visited the hospital over three months in a distance of 200 kilometers from where he lived. He claims he paid over 300,000 cash to the hospital over a four-year visit. He says he has no issues paying the fee but resents the 300 baht extra charges because he is a foreigner. He claims this is different from other government hospitals that only charge 50 baht for a foreigner and that the Hoi Hin Hospital come up with the additional charges themselves. The hospital claims it has to add 15% and 300 baht as a service fee for foreigners. The complainant says now he has paid 12,746 baht over the years for the extra charge and he wants the money back. The complainant has filed other reports in the past to the Ministry of Health but unfortunately for him the issues bounce backwards and forward. The complainant is a retired railway engineer from the Netherlands. He currently looks after goats with his Thai wife in the region. You know, it's good this guy's taking a stance against what he feels is uh, corruption, but even though he's, he really is starting to look like his animals. So what did you guys think of this video? There's some very interesting subjects in there. It'd be great to get a discussion going in the comments below. And don't forget every Saturday and Sunday night, 5pm Thai time, Talk Back Thailand. Anyhow, that's it from me. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you very soon.